All right, guys. So we're gonna do a one more reaction before I react another one tomorrow. And let's start this reaction. Three, two, one. My goodness, I am so happy Luna found Lena when she did. She's in really bad shape. All this blood on the ground is just leaving me traumatized. Luna already stunched a night up in her room. Lisa is also nursing her as well. Lord, I don't know what happened to her. But I trust she's living up to her promise. We still don't know anything about Fizz or Lola. But I sure hope that the others get here soon. We are home. We looked all over the neighborhood. We can't find Lincoln anywhere. There's Luann, I am really Lucy, getting and extremely Lynn. worried about him. We still can't find Lola anywhere. Oh my gosh, Lily. What happened here? Why is the living room coated with blood? What is wrong, Lily? You look terrified. What the heck happened while we were out? I'm afraid to tell you three. You three are not going to like it. It is really sad and scary. Won't like what? Please, Lily. It's bad enough Lincoln and Lola are gone. And now Lana is fighting for life from radiation poisoning. Please, we need to know what happened here. You know you can tell us anything, Lily. We are your older sisters. Go ahead, Lily. Explain everything. Tell us what happened. Well, here's how it started. I was in my room when I heard an argument occurred between both Lori and Lena. Then they heard large thrashing, so I went downstairs to go and see. Lisa was with me as well, and Lena was already downstairs. By the time we got there, and that is when we saw it. Lena was lying down on the ground in a bloody mess, with Lori towering over her. And that is the whole story. That is what happened. Well, Lori actually attacked Lini while the three of us were out searching the neighborhood Lini. for LinkedIn and Loa. I don't believe it. I mean, I knew that Lori was stressed, but come on. I never thought she would go that far into taking it out on one of us, especially Lini, who can't help it. Where is she now, Lily? Is Lenny all right? And where is Lori? Maybe the three of us should talk to her and try to get her to calm down. Yes, she is. She's upstairs now. Luna and Lisa have been attended to her. Lisa said that Lori fractured both her ropes and legs, so she's in really bad shape. But where is Lori, though? I'm not sure. The last thing she told us was, I'm going out, and we haven't seen her since. All we said was that she needed to get some help to try and control her anger. I just hope she's for feeling that off, and that she's getting help. But as for Lena, she's in her room now. Luna and Lisa are still up there with her. I have been here my hitting. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go and see how she is right now. Well, Lucy, I hope Lainey is okay. Come on, let's go and see her upstairs. First, there was the incident with Lana. Then you have the destruction of Lori's phone. Then Lincoln and Lola disappearing and now this. What on earth is wrong with our mentality? Lucy, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. All right, I'm coming, Lynn. Uh, okay, I think I lost it. All right. Anyway. We did what we could. The good news is, she will be all right. As long as she stays in bed, she shouldn't cause herself any more harm than she is already in. Her condition is serious. She is lucky to still be alive after that thrashing. Well, Lily, you weren't lying. Lini looks like she was not only beaten, but thrown into a meat grinder as well. How long do you think it will take for her to recover from this, Lisa? According to my statistics, it should take Lena a grand total of about seven hours for her to recover, if she remains in bed and doesn't move as much. I honestly still can't believe that this all happened while we were out. If we would have known this, we should have stayed home. We could have prevented this from happening. There was no way any one of us would have known that Lori would soon snap and attack one of us. So it's no one's fault here, Lucy. I know, but I still have a huge sense of guilt burning from deep within my soul. This is one powerful light that is going to take me a while to extinguish. Don't worry, Lucy. Lenny will be fine. You heard Lisa. As long as she remains asleep like she is now, and as long as she continues lying down, she will be okay in about seven hours. But what about Lincoln? I am really freaking out right now. And Lola. Uh, Don't worry, girls. I promise you we will find them. Once Lenny recovers, we will go back to searching for them. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Meanwhile, at... Will ends? Wow, it's getting late. 
and so far I haven't found anyone that I can trust to help me with my problems. I sure hope Lenny is getting better. I kept the lies I fractured both her legs and ribs. It is only a blessing on how she is still alive. I don't want to lose my temper again. There has to be someone who can help me control my anger. I tried my friends but they have no knowledge. I tried Nate Animates but he has no idea. I even looked to 2091 Rivera Israel. Even he doesn't know. And he has a bit experience from an overprotective Damn. car of his. Samster 56777 is nowhere in this city so I can't ask him. There has to be something I can do. Someone I can talk to. Who can relate on what I have to do in my first steps. <coughs> Hello this is Lori. Who is this? Hello. Is this Lori Loud I am speaking to? Yes. I am her. Who is this? Hello. My name is Sponge527. Don't worry I'm not dangerous. I'm a friend of Rivera's. He called and said you spoke with him and that you were indeed having problems with anger. I can help you with your problems. I am located at Regents Park Street. You will find a blue sedan parked in the center. I have great tips on how to have girls control their anger. Mr. Sponge, do you really think you can help me? Yes. Yes, I can, Lori. You just need someone to talk to so that you can get some advice. And you are suffering from stress and fear. I can tell by your voice. Trust me. You won't regret this. I will do what I can to help out. See you there. Goodbye. All right. I'll give you a chance. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow. For once in my life, something good is her pining. Thank you, Rivera. I hope that this sponge person can help me with my problems. Wow, this looks like a beautiful place. And that must be the blue car right now. I think this anger management thing won't be as bad. Wow, it's just in the middle just like he said. I wonder where this Mr. Sponge is. He must be close by. I don't understand. This sponge guy's car is here. He should be here wanting to talk to me. Miss Loud, I'm over here. Welcome to Regents Park Street, Miss Loud. There he Sorry is. for that I worried you when I wasn't there waiting at my car. But I figured I'd sit down for a bit. Anyway, what do you need help with? Wow, you seem like a nice guy. I'm glad Rivera has great friends. My name is Lori Loud. I'm the eldest of the Loud siblings. Oh, you don't have to introduce yourself. I know who you are. I watch your brother's show on Nickelodeon. Wow, I'm glad to see that we are loved by lots of people who watch The Loud House. Oh, trust me. In The Loud House! me who know who you are. Anyway, what seems to be the problem, and what is causing your anger to happen? That is the first thing to know. That is the thing, though. There are so many things that are bothering me. I'm not sure if I will be able to explain it all in one day. Well, if that is true. Just pick out the one that bothers you the most. That is always the key to solving the problem of a girl who suffers from a very bad temper. Okay, well to be honest, the thing that has been bothering me the most this past few days is stress, sadness and fear, from having the burden of watching my ten siblings on my own, along with the fact that no one is helping, no one wants to hear my side on why I am so tough on everyone. They just think I'm a tyrant and a typical angry 18-year-old. Even my boyfriend Bobby won't help me during this hour of need. I went to him for advice before going to Rivera, but all he said was, ignore it all, and move forward. Wow, that is cruel, but I think I know what you're suffering from. You're suffering from depression, and I say that mostly because you now carry the burden of motherhood at a young age. What? Are you sure? How do you know? I mean I don't feel depressed at all. I just can't control my anger. And what do you think causes your anger? It's the fact that you are depressed and unhappy. You obviously never got around to having a normal childhood due to having 10 siblings. Which if I'm correct, you had to carry the burden of watching all 10 of them non-stop never having any time to yourself. This in turn would make anyone depressed in my honest words. It's not because you're a bad person. It's because you never really had a happy time to yourself, due to having to watch over ten siblings non-stop, especially on your own. That, my friend, 
is what is causing you to lash your anger at your ten siblings, and act so harshly. Because you have so much pressure on you, and you can never get a break. You, you're right. I never managed to have any happy times to myself. Even my boyfriend alone is not enough, because I was always home all the time. It is one of the biggest providers and fuels for depression, not being respected, being too stressed out, and being overworked, which I can tell by your face you go through all three. Yes I do. At home, I am rarely respected, I'm regarded most of the time, as a bully and even though there are times I am respected by my siblings, the burden prevents my happiness. Can I ask you one thing? Where was the parents? Aren't they around to try and help you out? I mean even in the show I hardly see them. Only on rare occasions do they ever pop up. To be honest, if you want the truth, my parents do what they can, but it's not enough. They mostly have me run the house. They don't even discipline me or any of my other siblings. They think just because I'm the oldest, that I can take care of the others while they do what they want. Now that they are gone, I think they may have gotten their wish at last. I see. So it looks like your parents just weren't really as involved in your lives than I thought. That truly is a tragedy. I know right. It hurts. It really hurts. I'm sure it does. We at least now know what is bothering you. So now what we do is, we try to heal from this, and try not to let it bother us and learn from it. Really? But how? It hurts so much just to think about it, and with the fact that my parents are gone, it is not going to be a walk in the park for me to just heal so quickly. Read on and Lynn. It's not going to just happen overnight. This gives you a shot to stand up to the past, and move on to the future. Like for an example, what is your future, Lori? Well, my future is two things. My first one is to spend the rest of my life with my wonderful Bobby when the time is right, and two... I can tell by the look on your face, that the second one is really personal, and I get the feeling that is where the fear is coming in. What is the second one? The other one, is by two of my siblings who ran away because of me. It happened when they were both grounded one destroyed my phone the other tricked her sister into jumping into a dangerous pile of radioactive mud. That turned her green and got her sick for a month. I will do anything to get them back. I will do anything just to hold them. Especially, my little Lincoln, who I had been tough on ever since our show began and then there is Lenny. We had an altercation today, while we were searching for both Lincoln and Lola, and I lost my temper, and chased Lenny down the stairs and brutally attacked her. I fractured both her ribs and legs in the end. It was then that I realized what I was becoming, and finally decided to do something and try to get help. I don't want to hurt anyone ever again. I am very glad you said that, Lori, because taking responsibility for one's actions in the past is one of the leading paths to healing and battling depression. I'm actually already helping myself. I'm already on the road to recovery already. As a matter of fact, you are the first path of healing. And controlling one's anger is to give it at the source, which is something you just did right now, after admitting the truth about you attacking Lenny and Lincoln. And I can also tell from the look in your eyes, that when Lincoln was a baby, you loved him more than anything. Also by telling the truth you are also revealing that you have remorse for what you did to Lenny, and that you want to change. You want to dominate your anger, and control it, which is a good thing. Plus you're having good memories of Lincoln when you were very young, and by you calling him your little Lincoln, you just proved to me that you even love him as if he were your own son, which in my eyes, is a path to recovery. You may not think it yet Lori, but you are a wonderful mother to your siblings, even if you are only 18 years old. Thank you Sponge, that was the most beautiful thing anyone has ever said to me. No problem, and that my friend is another path of recovery and fending off your anger. Remember who you are and remember at least some of the happy moments, even if they were rare. I will. Thank you, Mr. Sponge. No problem. Just remember the key to killing your anger is remembering the best memories possible, as it is a perfect shield against it. Now all you have to do is go to Lenny, hug her, and show her that even though you lost your temper back at the house, you can prove to your sister that you are not only sorry, but you are also willing to change. And don't forget... It will not only affect Lenny, but the rest of your siblings, 
They will be flattered when they find out you are willing to change your ways, including Lincoln Loud. You know what you're right. Who cares if my parents are gone? I've been watching my siblings since the beginning and even some of them have been helping me. I can do this. Thank you for everything. Now I'm going to focus on the only thing I care most, and that is getting my brother and sister back in my arms, and healing Lincoln in the process. Yes, that's right Lori, go, and remember you're always free as a bird, your siblings are yours. All right. All right. All right, we're going to do another reaction tomorrow. As you know, we're we're going to do another reaction tomorrow, as you know, the Loud House series episode 8. Since since Lori will find a way how to control her anger. Lori has finally controlled her anger. And if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe and drop a like and comment below how you love this reaction. And see you on the next video tomorrow, everyone.